I am Anil Kumar and here is a linear system which has equations with decimal numbers. Our equations are 0.2x minus 0.3y equals to 1.3, 0.5x plus 0.2y equals to 2.3. Now in this case we can follow the method of elimination multiplying the first one by 0.5 and the second one by 0.2 and then difference of these two could give us the value of y, right? That is one way of doing it. The other way is we can get rid of decimals, right? In that case, we'll be working with numbers. So I would recommend that in such a case, we can write this set of equations as equations without decimals. So what we will do is we'll times everything here by 10. So if we do that, then the question transforms and we could write this as 2x minus 3y equals to 13 and the second one becomes 5x plus 2y equals to 23. So I feel that whenever you are have you are having decimals or fractions then better is to convert them to whole numbers like we have done. Now we have two different equations which are linear equations without decimals, right? Let's name them as equation 1 and 2. Let's apply the method of elimination. We, let's eliminate y's. To eliminate y, what should you do? Well, times the first one by 2 and the second one by 3, right? So let's times it. By 2, you get 4x minus 6y equals to 26 and the second one by 3 will give us 15x plus 6y equals to 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 3 is 9 so we have transformed equations this let's call this as equation 3 and this as equation 4 now if I add equation 3 and 4 then what happens in that case we get x values, y's cancel out, right? So we get 19x as equal to, let's add them up, 6 and 9 is 15 and 7 plus 2 is 9. So we get 95 over x. So x is equals to 95 divided by 19. So we get a value for x, right? Which is 95 divided by 19. So we can use calculator, write decimal value, 95 divided by 19 gives us 5, right? So this is equal to 5. So we have the x value. To find the y value, let us substitute x value in any of those equations and find y value. So let us use equation 3. So let's sub x equals to 5 in equation 3. So if I write x equals to 5 in equation 3, I get 5 times 5 plus 2y equals to 23. Or 2y equals to 23 minus 5 times 5, which is 25. So we have 2y equals to minus 2 and y equals to minus 2 divided by 2, that is equals to minus 1. So we get y value as minus 1. So now the answer is the x value is 5 and y value is minus 1. So that is the solution for our linear system. You can always substitute these values and check if it is right or not. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. The idea here is avoid decimals by multiplying by tens, right? So that is how you can simplify and solve a linear system. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.